everyone, welcome to another Pick A Card Reading. This is going to be who is speaking about you and what are they saying. We have four piles here today. You know how we do it over here. Pickapile.com, aceofchalices.net. Let's go, right? Timestamps are below. See ya. Hi, pile one. This is going to be your reading here for who is speaking about you, what are they saying, right? Let's go right into it and let's see what the cards say. Who's speaking about my pile one? What are they saying? Who's speaking about them? And what are they saying? Okay. Who's speaking about you? What are they saying? Okay. It's three different people speaking about you right now. These could be some old friends of yours. They feel very left out of your life right now. Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Empress. Okay, I think so. Two could be Earth sign, one could be Fire sign. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and here you have King of Pentacles. Okay, one person could be younger than you, one person is older than you, and the other person is your partner? Someone you grow with? Okay, so. What I'm seeing is there could be somebody, there's somebody who's sexually attracted to you right now. They want to come towards you. They're speaking about you. Another person is speaking about you. They could be your family member. Someone older than you from your family might be speaking about you in a very positive light. And someone else, a female figure, or someone who took care of you is someone, it could be your parent, right? Three different people are speaking about you right now. And now let's see what they're saying. They're saying here that you've let go of something very burdening, very sad. You've like moved on from that. You're going towards the future in a very positive light. You may not really talk about it with them. Maybe you used to talk to these people a lot about a lot of different emotional things or your relationships, but people are not feeling connected to your life. They, they feel like you're making a lot of good moves here, but you don't talk to them anymore. You're not giving emotion towards the situations. People are saying you're illuminated, you're enlightened, you're making the right moves, you're not emotional about it. You're very stoic and you're moving on with these things with the High Priestess here. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. Okay, so there's three different people speaking about your glow up here, that you're not very um, emotional about it. You could be traveling right now or deciding to travel to a home, a different home. You may be redecorating your home. People are talking about that. People are feeling really left out of your life and they're just speculating. Uh, they see you moving to a lot of different adventures, a lot of different moves, a lot of different places. They may see different photos of yours. They're commenting on your photos. But yeah, so behind your back, I mean, in person, people are talking about you with other people about that they don't know what you're up to or that your life your, your life used to be having a lot of fun, but now you're very goal-oriented and boring. People could be saying something like that. They don't, they're not saying it in a negative way, though. They're saying it in a very respectful way. Illumination and the High Priestess. They're saying it as in, like, they don't recognize you anymore. People are saying they don't recognize you anymore. People are saying you look very good, but you're focused on yourself. And you're very snappy also. Maybe, like, you tell people off. If they're talking about boring things or they're gossiping, you're kicking them away. People are very proud of you. I think your parents are very proud of you. Your parents are talking about you a lot right now. Could be. The King of Pentacles and the Empress. I'm seeing your parents. And I'm seeing a lot of different sexual suitors. It could be one in particular. But I'm seeing it as multiple. Um, they're talking about your looks. They really like the way you look. They want you to take them, take you... They want you to take them with you if you're going on more journeys here. I'm seeing though you're walking alone though. You're doing a lot of different things alone uh, because you feel happier that way. You feel some kind of satisfaction in your solopreneurship. Motorcycle. You feel some satisfaction in being, a, being solo. A solo actor and you're getting your life under some balance people are saying high praises of you because they feel you have a security to you that you didn't have before all right pile one pretty smooth reading i'll see you guys on the next one right bye pile two those of you who chose pile two this is going to be your reading here for who is talking about you what are they saying all right let's get your cards pile two who's talking about pile two 
What are they saying? This thing about my pilot's Who's talking about you? What are they saying? Okay, it's two different people talking about you, or earth or fire sign, or both. Earth and fire. I'm seeing a lot of earth. I'm seeing a lot of fire. So one is a fire sign. One is an earth sign. There's two different people. I'm seeing they were romantic interests from the past that are very apologetic towards something. But they see you as your guard is up. You're not going to forgive these people. Nine of wands. Two of wands. Page of pentacles. Okay. Two people that want to say sorry to come back or they want to fake an apology to come back. Even if they really are sorry, I'm seeing you're not going to accept it. These people disappointed you over and over again. They used, they may have used you for sex. And they always made you feel alone here with the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. These are two people that came off very reliable, but they weren't committal. And this hurt you because you were very passionate and serious about them. I'm seeing that you taught them a lot of things, but they you have to hide from them now because these people are very exploitative and you told them off. What they're saying about you right now is like you're a ruthless dictator now. You're hiding from them or you're pushing them away because you have options now. They're saying you have options now, but uh, they ha they're saying you have options now because you, uh, you like attention and you're getting a lot of attention and they feel like uh, that's what you're into and you're stressing them out. They want to try to come back uh, with through some miscommunication. They want to use uh, deception to come back into your life. They want to make some lie or make some kind of rumor. Or they're gonna say something very suggestive or rude or something weird to get your attention to sucker you back into a conversation these people really have nothing to offer you you kick them out and you made a very logical practical uh, argument as to why you don't want them in your life anymore I'm saying you were very upright when you did it these two people maybe know each other maybe they're gossiping together about you um, they're saying oh maybe you 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 getting a lot of uh, girls now or a lot of guys now that's all you care about is attention that's what they might be saying about you but i'm seeing you cared about these people very much so but they wounded your heart with the nine of wands a part of you looks back to see are they all right do they still care or do i still care but i do feel like you're in this decision there's you're in this mode where you feel like forgiving them but you you opt not to because you're trying to be tough on them because they deserve it i'm seeing these two people played with your luck they played with your destiny and you're just thinking about your safety right now. You have no interest in dealing with them because your career is going in a better mood. I'm seeing you make arrangements to get even to the next level. Um, you don't want your life to change backwards. You want your life to change forwards. And I'm seeing you doing a good job with that. These people like to confuse you. They're talking about also confusing you again. They want to make you confused. They want to make you stressed. They're, they can't sleep without you, but they want you to not sleep very manipulative people whenever they flirt with you they give you a little bit they try to use your affection against you against so to their will they want your affection to be your uh, downfall that's who i'm seeing is talking about you right now two different people you are passionate about i'm seeing you may have had sex with these two people they could be friends now um or they could have always been friends whatever it is and they're talking about how to flirt back with you they want to pretend they, they're like love scammers they want to scam you back towards love and they're saying that the chances of you coming back are very slim to none uh, and it's looking like none because you came up as king of swords so that's someone who kicks you out and means it okay so that's what happened yeah they're talking about your options they're stalking your options as well they may be checking through social media to find out who you are you made them feel very left out now whatever they made you feel that's what they're going through right now all right pile two i love you i'll see you guys on the next one bye pile three those of you who chose pile three this is going to be your reading for who is talking about you what are they saying let's go right now pile three who's talking about my pile three what are they saying
there's a lot of people talking about you. There's a lot of people stressing you. People are watching you in a very successful mode here. Fire sign or Aries Leo Sagittarius. You know, fire, earth, and air. So a lot of people. There are people that doubted you from the past. They feel like you were drama. They used to call you the dramatic one. I'm seeing you've distanced yourself from people. You're very independent at this current point in time. You may be an artist or an entrepreneur. You're doing something. You're servicing people on your own right. And it's none of the people you know. Maybe your life has to do with totally different things now. And you are of service. You help people get what they need. Um, your, your, your job is something where people treat you very nice at your job, right? You're very respected. You may be a leader in your workplace. If you work for someone else, you could be a leader in your workplace. If you work for yourself, you make a lot of money doing it. Um, not only money, you're making a lot of goodwill doing it as well. People who connect with you love it. And the people from your past hate it. There's a lot of people hating on you, maybe posting troll comments. People hate the fact that you love your life. Um, you know, sorry, but this is what the card is saying. You have a very high position where your knowledge is very respected. People pay a lot of money for your knowledge. Um, there's people watching you, they can't sleep. There's like 13 people watching you, 14 people watching you right now, about three. There's 14 people watching you and hating on you. Some people want revenge on you for something that you did in the past. Some people can't forgive you. This is scary. Um, they can't sleep. They're thinking about you. They're watching their phone, looking at you at night. Before they go to sleep, they watch you. And watching you makes them very insecure. But they can't look away. They, they watch because they want to learn something about you, right? That's what these people are doing. Now, what are they saying about you? Oh, man. They're saying that you got all your dreams come true. All those things you said you were going to get, you got them. People are saying that. People are saying, man, what are you going to do next? People are watching. What are you going to do next? And uh, what are you going to do next? What are you going to say next? Maybe you post lectures on Facebook or YouTube. Maybe you do sermons. You, you do something where you're speaking or you're writing. And uh, people dig it. People dig your tutorials. People dig your methods. Um, they really like it. It's picking up. And it's making people sick. Uh, these people want to copy you. There's people that try to diss you. When you were starting out, they try to diss you. Or they try to joke about your grind. But I'm seeing that they're taking notes now. These people are taking notes. A lot of people younger than you are watching you. Uh, they want to doubt your love. Like in some way that they feel like what's your secret you're doing something crooked but i'm saying you, your secret is that you move in love and stability like you have a love to you that helps you generate the next move you have just this confidence and self self-esteem and self-assurance and security and uh people don't know what to make of it i'm seeing a lot of these people you left their life like you don't talk to them no more because you're kind of busy i mean you're not kind of busy you're fucking busy right um but people don't understand that they think that you have enough free time like them uh that like oh you're just lucky or you got it but no people know that you didn't just get it handed to you people are watching you they're trying to find out who you're dating they're trying to talk about um oh yeah you know i used to know him i used to know her you know she was like this she was like this she was like that he was like that but they don't know the new you and they're talking about that talking about your glow up they're saying you're very you look very happy they can't, they're saying that first, right? Like, man, he looks mad happy. Like, she looks mad happy. Um, some of the people are talking about your looks. They feel like you can just swoop them up and take them up. You could take anyone, right? Um, some people say they talk about you used to be an overthinker or used to stress or you used to be in jail in some kind of way, metaphorically speaking or truly speaking. Maybe you used to have some trouble with police here and there, you know? Maybe not anymore. Maybe not in the last nine years, right? Or maybe not in the last eight years. And people have feel some type of way about that. Like they don't want to give, they don't want to accept that you have a new life. And uh, people are talking about that. They're talking about your new life and what are you gonna do next? And they're just watching because they see it getting better and better. All right, pile three. I love you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Pile four. This is going to be your reading for who's talking about you. What are they saying? Let's get right into it. Not waste any time. Pile four. Who's talking about my pile four? What are they saying? Pile four. Who's talking about my pile four? What are they saying? Who's talking about my pile four? 
Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Okay, these could be people from your old workplace. Some people that... One of them you may have dated also in the past. Okay, two lovers and some people from the past. Okay, people are missing you. They're bored without you here. Water sign, fire sign, earth sign. A lot of people, a lot of signs. Forget that, but... There are people talking about how much they love you. They love your power. Could be two water signs in particular for some of you, or a Leo. People are saying how much... How connected you make them feel. They feel like you were a very emotionally available person, a very honest person, charming, you're very good looking. You're someone that they look at as a potential father or mother to their child. They're saying you're very good material, but they're worried if you cheat because you're very sexy and they're insecure. These two people are insecure. I feel like these are two insecure people you dated that um, you may have walked away from. Check pile two, that might be your reading as well uh, if you want to. Cause that was a little similar message people are talking about your glow up now you have maybe a better body now you have better clothes someone's saying that you life is boring without you these people are these two people are someone you have maybe grown up with that they have an intimate knowledge of you they have a lot of knowledge of you it's not people that don't know you it's people that know you you may have met them from the workplace or school okay um i'm saying people are daydreaming about starting a family with you uh, they never maybe let their feelings get too intense or they never told you about that but I'm seeing there's people that held back their feelings that they have a very childish um, love style and you have a very bold and strong love style so your styles of flirting didn't really mesh well so I'm seeing that it never developed into a relationship but people are saying that you made them happy whenever you were in their life you made them happy you were very sharing and giving right you're very generous and you're hot they have a very superficial look on you and the relationship but they can't deny that you fulfilled them emotionally they feel like you know the right moves to make um queen of wands king of wands came out king of pentacles queen of pentacles these are two people that had a chance to marry you i'm seeing like they had a chance to marry you but they ignored it they didn't take it serious and now i'm seeing you work on your finances in a way where it's attracting them back into your life but you find these people immature one is younger one is older they're not from the same age group um but they both had the same criticisms of you maybe they thought that you will make them look stupid maybe they thought you'll cheat but i'm seeing you were a very committed person but you were very jaded in love afterwards these people broke your heart in some way four of cups they were very boring in the relationship they made they took your emotions and they didn't give any emotions and then when you finally left now they're saying oh you made me happy though very cruel people i'm seeing they didn't come off that way but that was their game like they really played with your emotions made you feel left out with the five of pentacles there um they feigned a connection to see what they could get from you and i'm seeing that you've walked away for your greater happiness here so like i said pile two could be your reading um, but yeah, you, you want to go towards the Empress now, the Emperor now. You don't want uncommittal people. You don't care how attractive they look. And I'm seeing that you're building a lot of different uh, sectors of value within your life. And you're not going to be settling for less anymore. I'm seeing you're back to the drawing board, back to the vision board, making new wishes. And you're committed to changing yourself to be better so that you don't attract uh, low vibes like this anymore. These people are feeling left out and they are imagining impregnating you again. Like they want to do that now. And now they're feeling down, but they're really just all talk. Like these people are all talk, but you're not. They, they are projecting onto you that you're all talk, but they're all talk. You know what I'm saying? They're, they want to be your king, queen now. But they're only knight and page level. They're not trying to be serious. Every time you came up as a serious energy, these two people would back down for I'm seeing. And they're talking about you now that you're good and you're giving and you're making them happy and they're feeling lonely without you. They're just feeling sorry for themselves, all right? Because they're not in your life anymore. That's who's talking about you, Pile 4. I love you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Forget about these jokers, all right? Later.